Hello Cancer, it's time for your weekly love reading. This is Irish Donna Carr, welcome to my channel. My name is Donna Wilder Hart and we are getting ready to do your weekly love reading. This is going to be a you versus them in terms of feelings. We're going to look at oracle cards here to give us the overall energy coming into the reading. If you want to enter the contest for free reading, my credentials and why you should want to win a free reading with me are down below um, in the description box, as well as everything else you need to know, know to book a reading. All right, so here we go. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. All right, so what do we know about soulmates? Most of you who watch tarot readings know that a soulmate is oftentimes a person that you feel you've known forever, you've known them from another life, and you have come together in this life because of an agreement you made in an earlier life, uh, and also to learn something. All right. So we're going to do you, Cancer. We're going to look at your emotions with your person, the person you came to find out about uh, in this reading. So let's take a look. I'm going to clarify these. I'm not any longer giving a summary at the end of the video. I'm going to just go through this and then say, have a great week. <laughs> and we're going to clarify. And we're also going to get Lover's Oracle advice for you at the end, okay? So how you feel? Well, you like the collaboration. You like the nature of the relationship. There's a creative element to the relationship. Um, you not only feel as though there's a two of you, there's something that you both have a passion for that you share. Ooh, the Emperor card. This is Manifestation of Love. It shows that you love the other person. It shows that it's a mature love. It shows that it's a very upstanding love. It shows that you're very protective of the other person. This is a king of kings. This is a person who tends to be very traditional. Um, they don't tend to bend a lot. They tend to be a little bit rigid. So that does speak to you, Cancer. You have a very set set of expectations in love relationships. Um, the Aries, the Emperor card is one of the best cards in the deck. It is manifestation of love. Coming into the reading, you have a mixed feelings about your person. It shows that you feel as though you're in a construction zone, that there's a lot of turmoil, there's a lot of sort of aggravating situations going on around this person. The relationship is developing. You understand that because you are an emperor. You're highly skilled at seeing what something can become. You're very, very good at being able to discern what the truth of the matter is. This card says that you are, this is a butterfly in the cocoon or the chrysalis, and it shows that there's a lot of turmoil around the relationship and you're, something is developing though that's very magical. In the recent past, the Daughter of Pentacles. The Daughter of Pentacles is somebody who's very reliable, who's very youthful, who's very optimistic in their outlook. They are training for, you know, to be the Empress, the Emperor, the, the Queen. is a Queen in training. The Moon card says that you have a lot of uncertainty about the relationship in terms of your emotions. You feel torn at times. Sometimes you feel good about it. Sometimes you feel not so good about it. It shows that this is confusing. It pulls you into a dark spot psychologically, emotionally. It shows that in many ways this relationship, because of the uncertainty, makes you feel insecure. You know that you have great love, but you really just don't know what's going to happen. It shows the mother of pentacles. Look at that. I said the daughter of pentacles is becoming the mother of pentacles, and here you are. So the mother of pentacles is very nurturing, very grounded, down to earth. She knows how to earn a living. She knows how to budget the family money. She knows how to take care of everyone. So it does show that in some ways you may be having a relationship with somebody who's younger, who's still developing. It shows that you know exactly what you want. This is a person you want. You have uncertainty and fear um, based on the fact that this is Pisces energy. It looks like you're willing to let it play out right now. Okay, so we're going to look at your person. I'm going to clarify this, and I have to tell you the clarifications this week have just, we've done hairpin turns on the edge of a mountain. 
during the readings. What they appear to be at the beginning is not what they are at the end. So I encourage you all to watch the entire video. All right, so let's see what your person is feeling about you. What is your person feeling about you, Cancer? What is your person feeling about you? All right. This card indicates that there has some is somebody that has is overwhelmed. It's sort of like they've been you're offering them the fourth cup of wine and they've really had enough cups of wine. They're feeling a little woozy, they're feeling a little overwhelmed. They're feeling that they're just not ready for what you're offering at this time. Cups are about love though. And so it shows that though they have love for you because the three of cups shows that the friendship is there, they're not sure that they're ready to take that step into more commitment. Okay, more stability. Okay, the Nine of Swords says that your person is all up in their heads. This is Gemini energy. It also shows that this person, you have the Three of Coins. You have the Three of Coins here. Okay, this person is uncertain, and I typically don't read reversals. I do clarifiers when we do generals. We get the three of coins and the three of coins. So something that is really grounding your relationship, that gives it a lot of power, a lot of strength. Look at how strong the ants are. They can work together. They can carry a heavy weight. The three of coins is all about collaboration. You may know this person at work. They love working with you. You love working with them. The creative process has a very romantic overtone for both of you. It is a huge part of your attraction or what triggered your attraction to one another. A lot of times this is creatives. All right. It shows in the recent past your person the Eight of Swords, more Gemini energy. They just feel as though they can't give you what you want, but they love you. Look at the rose. Look at the rose. Rose right in the middle of the thorns and the swords. Swords are oftentimes circumstances. The Ace of Wands is a new beginning and passion. It shows the Five of Swords. Again, lots of swords energy here. There is something in the environment that they feel is preventing them from being free in love with you. Swords can also mean that there is a great deal of conflict in their lives or struggle. It does show this Three of Pentacles. Looks like, you know, they could have a couple of jobs here. The Five of Swords is that they just feel as though they can't give you what you want. I love this energy. Look at this. We have the Sun card. These fell out. The Sun card is the happiest card in the deck. They, too, wonder what the two of you can achieve together. All right. So that's what I'm getting for their emotions about you. They've never been happier when they're with you. They're never sort of sadder or feeling, they don't even know why they feel so a little unraveled without you. It looks like the two of you saw each other on a daily basis at, a, at an earlier time in the relationship. It looks as though you've sort of gone on different paths, you know, just doing your life. And it looks as though there are obstacles and difficulties. And there's been, this person feels a little angry. This person is angry. Look at, they're looking over at you and you're like, they're like, what's going on over here? And you're looking at them going, what's going on over there? So there's a lot of confusion. The fact that you both are mirroring the moon card men, means that you both feel very vulnerable with each other. It means that you don't know what the outcome of this relationship will be. You're the emperor standing with Mars energy ready to fight for the relationship. They recognize that, and I got the moon card again in the clarifier. Look at that. Um, they recognize that they've never been happier than they are when they're with you. So we're going to take a look. Why is the moon card? Why do we have a triple moon card? Okay. The moon card is Pisces energy. So I really would look... I know some people don't like astrology, but this Pisces moon has a lot to do with what's going on. Pisces is the intuition. It's a 12th house. It's all that is hidden. So there's a lot hidden beneath the surface here. All right. So why is the moon card here? Eight of Pentacles, you're trying to be prudent. The King of Wands wants to make sure they don't take a misstep. They don't make any promises. They don't want to make any promises they can't live up to. The Princess of Pentacles indicates that 
the messages and the way they talk to you and the way they communicate with you tends to be sweet. It's very sweet the way they speak to you, but it's also very practical. They tend not to want to get in their emotions. Okay. This person feels as though they need to stay balanced and they have a hard time staying balanced with you. This is about equilibrium. Justice card is Libra energy. It's all about trying to keep their balance. And when, the, when they have all these feels for you, they feel really unbalanced. And actually, it makes them feel angry when they feel unbalanced. They feel like they're all up in their head and they have no clue why. The Prince of Swords, again, lots of swords energy, really feeling almost sort of like a victim in the situation. The Judgment card, okay, now we have another answer here. Justice and judgment tends to be a divorce that's going on. The Justice card usually indicates the trigger for the divorce, which is the initiation or the filing of divorce paperwork. The Judgment card says that this person's going through all this strife, they're up in their head, they know that they love you. The sun card is radiant. It's beautiful. All of these cards over here indicate a deep attachment to you. One that they find intimidating. One that they find terrifying. It looks like for most of them, they're getting a divorce and they just don't know what the answer is to the future. The chrysalis also confirms that they are going through a life-altering experience uh, and that it's painful. Usually this indicates a lot of pain. Lots of swords here, lots of pain. All right, so let's see here. Why do we have the sun card? Why is the sun card here? Why is the sun? Why do you make them so happy? <laughs> Cancer. Why do you make them? Oh, the Ten of Cups. <gasps> they want to marry you. Oh, the Ten of Cups is a beautiful relationship that brings you exquisite happiness. And it is, in this case, it looks like very much a forever happiness. The King of Pentacles, this person is really responsible. They wouldn't typically think of themselves as being a person who would get a divorce. This King of Pentacles is Taurus energy. You know how stubborn Taurus is, but you're both ruled by the moon. Cancer is ruled by the moon. Taurus is ruled by the moon and Venus. So it shows that this person is worried about their coin, worried about their money, knowing that they're going to have to start over. But you know what, with time, I know that in the next six weeks, this person feels really angry at the losses they're about to face, but you're going to help them realize, see, you're looking at this Mother of Pentacles, you know. You know that at the end of the day, that if you follow your heart and you manifest what you want, that you're going to find a way to not only bounce back, but to prosper. Cancer is very wise in that way. Cancerians tend to do very well because they're very fierce about providing for their family. All right, why do we have the Five of Swords here? Why is this Five of Swords? Prince of Cups. So this person feels like right now they're so caught up in their emotions that they don't have a lot to give you. They're doing the best they can and they, they feel as though it's important for you to understand that. It also shows Princess, we have children here. There's too many, um, there's too many pages here for there not to be children. Okay, so that, there, and it also, I would say for those for whom you, it resonates, there is a partner that they're dealing with who is trying to use the children as blackmail against them. This person that they're divorcing, for whom this resonates or they're breaking up with, is using the children as leverage to try to get something that's unfair in a divorce settlement. They feel that the fact that their person, your person, is not in love with them any longer is reason for punishment, revenge, ugliness. They've basically threatened your person saying most likely, oh, you'll never see your children again. I'm gonna take everything you've ever worked for away from you. All right, let's see what the Eight of Swords is. Yep, Queen of Pentacles, here we have it. Queen of Pentacles, Mother of Pentacles, this is very interesting energy. For some of you, you could be married to this person or you could be divorcing them. It's possible. For others of you, this is just two separate. Your person, here's you, and your person was is married to someone else or was married to someone else, at, you know, and they're divorcing them right now. It does show that your person of interest is trying to find a way out that's peaceful, trying to come up, not with reconciliation, but 
with a way to find a balance that would be fair. Eight of Wands, so that both of you can go on with your lives. Everybody can go on with their lives. Okay, so I love this reading. This is very beautiful. It's very dedicated. This is somebody at a point in their lives that's going to give up literally everything that they worked for. Not easily. It's never easy. But the children are the really big focus here. That not seeing a child every day is really painful. And, you know, people always worry about the money, but people want, this person wants to have a wonderful relationship with their children, and they feel that that might be threatened through this divorce action. All right. Let's look at you. Let's look at you and see what's going on. Clarifying with you. I want to see... what you can do to help the relationship because right now you are in a painful place. Let's see, why is the moon card here? Why is the moon card here? Why is the moon card here? Again, this is for many of you, this could be cancer that you're divorcing this person, okay? Ouch. But let's look. Four of Swords, you need to heal the moon card. The Tower card, this came out of the blue, whatever's going on with them. You are soulmates, the father of wands. You feel like your, your, your person of interest is very sexy, very attractive. The world card, you've achieved all that you can achieve in this particular cycle with this relationship. But this means that you have really built a beautiful life together. You have built an exquisite life together that is worthy of saving. Ten of wands, you feel very, very burdened by this person. You feel guilty, though. That's also the feeling of guilt. It also indicates that you're willing to fight to the death for the relationship. All right. You want equal give and take. Ten of swords, you feel like this person betrayed you. Why is a betrayal card here? They don't seem to be speaking to you right now. You're the empress to the emperor. So for the majority of you, you're probably married to this person. I'm really, I'm really sorry for the pain that is going on for you. Here's the beauty of it though, it shows the chrysalis, it does show the butterfly emerges from the chrysalis. It shows that you really don't know what to do anymore. It shows that you want a new beginning. You're heartbroken, but you know what? It looks like, you know, this is really beautiful energy. It shows cancer that you're very wise. It shows that you've brought so much wisdom and nurturing and loving love to this relationship. You're willing to go on your own path if you need to, but you're also willing to be with this person. You're willing to do whatever it takes to make the relationship succeed. So this is kind of a, it's a mixed reading. There's two stories here that I see very strongly. For some of you, you're divorcing this person. For others of you, you've gone through this. You identify this whole scenario because you were divorced a long time ago or, or even within the last three or four years. You may both be divorcing, albeit at separate times, so that you can come together with the emperor and empress, okay? So it shows that you both might have been married. You might, both might have been married to other people. You both may be getting a divorce. Another way this can be read is that you, this person, is leaving you for another. But it doesn't look so much that way. Could be for some. But for many of you, I feel as though this is your lover who's coming to you and going through what you've already been through. Okay. So the Emperor and the Empress are coming together, soulmates coming together after a very painful situation in terms of you, you both have had to break up marriages and had to deal with children and had to deal with the fallout. All right. I just don't see this any other way. That's what it looks like. There's, any, there's different ways you can flip the story. But this looks very, very much like new beginnings based on painful endings, 
but a beautiful, beautiful soulmate relationship brewing here with the two of you. Let's look and, and maybe the romance angels will share more insight into the status of this particular reading today. Let's see where the, the advice from the romance angels is. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that you, it comes to you now. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Okay, so for most of you, this is what I thought it was at the beginning. You've already been through a divorce. You've probably been divorced for a number of years, three, four, whatever. Your person's going through a divorce. Okay, and let's look at the Lover's Oracle and get some advice from the Lover's Oracle. I love, these are very different types of love oracles. Transformation. All right, here we go. This is transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. Ta-da. Soulmate energy. Transformation. Divine partnership. Wow. That is a very, you know, love isn't easy. Love is not easy. It grabs us when we least expect it, typically. We never, oftentimes we never see love coming until we feel like we've been, you know, jumped off of a, you know, we've done a belly flop into the lake off of a, you know, a diving board or a tree or, oh. anyway. So that is your reading. It was so great, Cancer, to do this for you. Thanks so much. If you like what I've presented, please subscribe and make a comment. Ring the notification bell and thumbs up the video. Thank you.